By slowing down, I appreciate the wonder of life. I always feel more calm and peaceful when I'm in the countryside, surrounded by nature. Slowing down is easier when my surroundings are also moving slowly. In the woods, nothing is in a hurry or rushing around. All of life, the ducks swimming, the birds singing, even the deer grazing are in perfect agreement that there is no need to rush this peaceful summer day. The consensus to simply enjoy the day is contagious. I too find myself walking slower, pausing longer to enjoy the scenery, and just being one with my environment. However, I can't always be in a majestic forest. Due to the fact that I travel and I'm currently visiting my daughter who lives in a large city, I spend much of my time also in cities. My surroundings greatly affect me. Just as the calming energy of the forest is contagious, so is the busy, fast-paced, hectic energy of a city. Here are a few ways I slow down, even when I'm surrounded by rushing, bustling people. Seeing Observing, listening, these are the greatest acts. Although nature has many things I enjoy, there are several things that bring me joy that I can only find in a city. Instead of getting caught up in the rushing around of the people around me, keeping my head down, I look up and take in the magnificent architecture of the buildings. I watch the enormous clock tower as it strikes the hour, and I can definitely appreciate the craftsmanship and details of each building. These old structures are a thing of beauty. Any big city I've been to has street performers. It's one of my favorite things. I hear the music and I'm instantly drawn to it. The people shuffle around me, but I don't pay them any mind. I am captivated by the music, which brightens my day. I'm in awe of how talented the musician is and the years of practice it has taken him to play so well. I feel fortunate to have the chance to listen to his music. In the busyness of the day, I still tiny, simple moments. I was hoping for a cup of tea with my cake in a quiet cafe, but the crowded cafe didn't have a spare table. So I walked down a quiet side street and found a brick wall to lean against. It's a small moment of simplicity as I enjoy my takeaway treat and people watch.
I seek refuge from the noisy chaos of the city outside and step into the calming church. I don't belong to any one religion, but there is something immensely peaceful within the walls of this 400-year-old church. Today, I'm fortunate that it is visiting hours and therefore I'm allowed to quietly and respectfully film this amazing church and share its stunning beauty with all of you. I observe the paintings, the detailed gold accents, the smooth wooden benches worn from hundreds of years of people sitting in them. As I sit, I'm overcome with a sense of peace, much like the one I get when I'm in nature. It is a soothing gift. I seek out the green spaces in the city. The bigger the city usually means the bigger the park. I relish the large trees spreading shade onto the green grass and the lazy pond. It's funny how nature is never very far away. I entice the ducks and swans with bread. Their pecking order is instantly noticeable and makes for a very highly entertaining afternoon. Whether I'm slowing down, observing the ducks, the trees, the musician, or the buildings, there is always an opportunity to still the mind and go within and appreciate all the beauty that is around me. Thank you so much for watching today. I encourage you to click subscribe and become part of our mindful community. Have a beautiful day, my friends.